Hey, Michael J. Flores here, and I am going to be playing in some extended 1v1 queues with Masashi Oiso's Wargate deck. It's a little hard to get um, an extended 8-man going or a daily event, so I'm just going to play in a bunch of 1v1 queues, like 4 or 5 of them, and do videos for each individual tournament. Let's go! Okay, winning the flip is awesome, but our opening hand is not... A lot of acceleration there, but no green. The second hand is deceptively full of action, so we can actually play spells the first couple of turns, including Rampant Growth and Tool Cultivate. The thing that's really cool about it is that we actually have more than enough land or representations of land in our opening hand to get the battle pit online. So, um, you know, a six card hand, basically seven, seven ish lands in a six card hand. So we're going to keep this one. Plus, we've already mulled it. We're gonna lead on yield the molten pinnacle. It's the only land in our opening hand that comes into play tapped. So we can play secondary forest and set up the rampant growth, etc. etc. He's got a creeping tar pit. Who knows what this is? Um, at this point I think it's fairies. And like I said, we're gonna play that rampant growth. So we're gonna go get ahead and get a planes in case we top deck Wargate. If we draw Wargate, we can theoretically play with the island that we've already got and the planes we just got. He runs out of thought seas, and I think he's going to take the negate. Negate seems right, especially if he's got something to do. His second land comes into play tapped, so we can do whatever we want on our turn. But unfortunately, what whatever we want on our turn is just um, casting a cultivate. We drew a spicy cryptic command, but you know, um, not enough blues. We're going to fix that and just get two blues. So island and island, one will come into play. We'll put the other one into play. Now we can shift the turn. It's got like eight, nine cards now. And we've got, what, five lands in play and three cards in hand. So we're about even. After his draw, he's, he's one card ahead of us. Uh, but we have way more lands of play, and Crypt Command's two cards, so um, I'm feeling pretty far ahead. Magic's all about who can just play more stuff, so uh, especially when it's two blue decks fighting against each other. If we have basically the same number of cards, but I have way more lands of play, you know, it seems pretty comfortable. So he plays a Ponder, and I don't know if Fairy played Ponder. I'm just going to go ahead and play the land that we drew and shift doesn't matter that we put the land that we drew rather than the island we already had. All our islands are the same picture, and there's basically no additional information for him. He plays a Misty Rainforest, and then he's just going to shift. Yay. Speaking of yay, Cryptic Command number two. So we've got really good defense, and pretty soon we're actually going to have enough mana to be able to play both Cryptic Commands in a single turn if we have to. He runs out Colony Garden, and the jig is basically up. What kind of black-blue deck plays Colony Garden? Obviously, the kind that wants to actually use the token for something, and in this case, it's going to be Polymorph. I don't know if I like this Polymorph here. Uh, he saw our hand like, was like two turns ago or something. We had a lot of opportunity to improve it. I think we've dropped three cards, actually, since he saw our hand. And in fact, we have two different Cryptic Commands. So um, we're not going to counterspell this polymorph. We're actually just going to pick up the token and draw a card, which is much better than countering it. If we counter it, we're just going to put the polymorph in the graveyard. But if we pick up the token, then he's going to lose the token as a resource, and the polymorph is going to have no target, so it's going to be countered anyway. And we're still going to get to draw cards, so all awesomes. So it's basically sad face bill for him. I'll just tap some mana, play a cryptic command. Um, Wonderfully, he's all tapped out, but we, we even have three mana left over to pay for a mana leak if it, if it were necessary, which it's not. The Cryptic Command drew us Valakut, which is, you know, whatever at this point. We have no Prismatic Omen, so um, it's not really necessarily profitable to have Valakut. But we drew one closer to Preordain, and Preordain's awesome. Preordain's going to show us a land and a mana leak. Unsurprisingly, we're going to keep the mana leak and ship the land.
play the island. It actually might have been better to play the Valakut there. We would have still had sufficient mana to play both the Cryptic Command and the Mana League, I think, if we had played the Valakut. But, you know, it did what it did. He's got another Ponder. I actually don't like this Ponder at all. It's a different picture than the other Ponder. Just put it out there. Ponder ostensibly put him in a Bitter Blossom. Um, bitter Blossom is, you know, Bitter Awesome, so... We'll gladly spend a mana leak on that. He doesn't have sufficient mana to pay for it. So playing the wrong land kind of really stinks right now because we would have uh, an additional untapped land this turn. Obviously, we're going to try to play the War Gate. He has two mana open, but I'm only putting the read on him for mana leak, and we can pay for a mana leak. He doesn't have any creature in play, um, and activating his lands would take a ton of mana, so I... I don't really think he's going to be able to go off with Polymorph this turn. Whereas, if we get Wargate into play, we're going to put him on a, on a pretty substantial clock. As you can see, we play that Valakut, and we're already granting him for 6. The land play mistake last turn, um, the implication is that we just don't have mana to play the Cryptic Command right now. But, we get through it unscathed, we get an untap, and he's on 11... We have two Valakuts in play, so like just a couple of lands is all we're going to need to win the game. I think it's kind of surprising that he didn't attack us the last turn or two. Maybe he's leaving Counterspell mana back, thinking that he's going to die to Scape Shift. We have two copies of Valakut the Molten Pinnacle in play, as well as Prismatic Omen. So if he doesn't deal with Prismatic Omen, he's basically dead to like a Misty Rainforest. Instead, we rip Redundant Omen. He's got seven cards in hand right now, so it's either all creature elimination or he's just putting us on scape shift, like I said. Instead of scape shift, we rip cultivate. Cultivate's actually much better than scape shift here. If it resolves, that's game. We would, in fact, overload for one. He's going to respond with ye old mana leak, the classic. We have plenty of mana, obviously, though. Just pay. Just pay, see what happens. And cultivate resolves. Ooh, got a pack. So unfortunately, we're not going to see Wargate versus Polymorph sideworded games because he packed every game one. Um, no, no, I guess we have bounce cards and counter spells, and we're a combo deck as well. And we have Jay's after sideboarding, so maybe it's terrible for him. It wasn't worth it to play it out for him. Um, I don't know. We got a pack. But do not worry, friends. More cues to come right now. 